Ba da 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 boom. Ba da da ba. Oh. Oh, we're live. Oh, tutorial. Ah. So, let's go ahead and adjust the jaw joint stuff that I had here happening. So, because this opening is kind of tricky to use the brush. Now, you can imagine trying to select some of these pointy area vertices with the brush. It gets kind of hard and tricky. So, there's an easier way to do this. Easy. So to do that, check this out. Select the uh, vertices that you want. So I'm going to fix the, the lower jaw first. So to do this, I'm going to gonna go in here like this. Go inside of the mouth. Rawr, I got eaten by a shark. Somebody save me. So I'm going to go into the vertex. And I like to use the lasso tool because it makes it so much easy to just get some weird shapes in here like this. So I'm going to select all of this. Now I don't have to go over to the other side because there's a way to to mirror our work to the other side. So I'm just going to come in here. Make sure I'm only selecting the lower vertices. Ah, oh, no. I had to selecting a joint. Make sure you turn off the joint selection just to make it easier. Let's try it again. So I'm going to come over here and So when you actually hover over the joint here like this, it'll try to select it so it deselects your vertices. So there, because I unchecked the uh, the joint selection. Now make sure I get these in here. So hold Control Shift to add these. Okay, so sort of like that. Now I don't have to worry about this side because I'm going to mirror my work over later on. And then now very easily I'm going to assign these vertices to my jaw joint. Now to do that a different way is using this other window here. Now this window is freaking awesome because it's very quick to do. Go to Window, General Editors. 1-800 General Editor now. Component Editor. I don't know what that was. Open Component Editor. Now here, make sure under all these tabs up here, you're under smooth skin. And then let's go ahead and load our selected vertices by going into layout, load selected components. Now you might be thinking, numbers, oh no, I hate numbers, it's like math stuff. I'm not a nerd. What do I do, Mr. Man? Here's what you do. Over here on your on the top here you see head joint, head tip joint. So you have a list of joints that these vertices are assigned to. Now obviously these vertices should not be assigned to all of these joints. They should be assigned only to the jaw joint. Right? So only look for the jaw joint. So there's a jaw joint right here. And then over here on the left, you see VTX and then a number. That's actually the vertex uh, name, which is, or, or a number, that we have selected here. So there's a long list if you scroll down of all the vertices that we have selected. All right, no big deal. So scroll back up. Here's what we need to do these values here, so you read them like this up and down. We have a vertex number 9 has a value of 0.5 assigned to the jaw joint. So I don't need to worry about that. I know I want to assign it 100% just to this joint. So what happens is um, all of these numbers are sort of uh, evenly distributed through each joint up until it, it equals to a total of 1. So, if you start removing numbers from these, let's say I want to remove from the head joint and lower that number, it'll actually add a number to something over here and then just lower the number over here. So, it actually needs to evenly distribute out the number to e always equal 1. But, I want to add all of these vertices to the jaw joint. So, very quickly, 
select the first one scroll down I'm under the jaw joint and click on the last one hold shift and click on the last one and then type in a one so now what that did is it got rid of the other joints those vertices were assigned to and now it's 100 percent assigned to the jaw joint that's how you use this awesome little window here so now I get out of the component mode go to object mode test out the jaw controller so you can see the the lower teeth are working fine it's the upper teeth now that are not working fine right so if I move the jaw down all of these vertices on the bottom of the lower teeth look okay but it's these upper teeth that are not so what do I need to do here I need to select now these vertices that are moving down with the jaw and now say you know don't follow the jaw follow now or, or I should say stay up here with the head joint so this is a head joint right so that's how we need to how we need to fix that so to do that I'm gonna now select the upper teeth uh, go into that lasso tool and I'm gonna say select all of these upper teeth here so I know I missed one there but I'll come back to it all of this and add that mm, what else uh, some of these vertices here add them to the top okay something like that very simple nothing complicated and then I'm gonna use that window again window general editors now component editor and then again make sure you're under smooth skin the tab layout load your vertices here by load selected components and then look for the head joint remember those are up on top so those are connected to the head joint so look for the head joint not the head tip joint remember nothing gets applied to the head tip joint so here it is head joint select the first one and then scroll all the way down holding shift and click on the last one and then input a one for 100 percent value and then close it and then that's it let's test this out rotate it and you can see now the left side we haven't mirrored it over but that's okay you can see now this is working a lot better now there's still some tweaking that we got to do in here but we can probably do with the brush uh, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna add these manually again very quickly select these vertices right there and watch them pop over let's see if I can leave it like that opened go under head joint oh load make sure I load all of them go under head joint scroll down and I'm gonna input a one let's see what happens so there you go you saw that how it fixed those close this and that looks a lot better from this side on the right side now let's go ahead and mirror our work over hopefully this looks okay so I'm gonna fix this right now actually so before we go over there and fix that I'm gonna open my what is it a uh, skin edit smooth skin and then paint skin widths 2 go to the option box and there it is I already have a shortcut here so next I'm just gonna use it there I'm gonna go to the head joint and I'm gonna use the smooth attribute here and I'm just gonna click on this side here see if I can smooth some of these vertices out now if you want some of this stuff to to move a little bit easier or slower smoother you can come over here to your opacity and lower the the brush opacity so now you can 
slowly work things in. That's usually well, it's usually better to do is to work in things slowly here. I'm gonna turn off my joints. I don't think I need to see my joints right now. Head go to whoops, let me try it again. Go back to the head joint and make sure I'm using the paint. Notice how I went to select. Make sure you're under paint. And then there we go. Smooth some of this stuff out here. And then I can go down to the jaw joint and do the same thing. Smooth this out. So it's a combination between the head joint and the jaw joint here. Smooth some of this out. Smooth this. Mm, I think I'm happy with this. So let's go ahead and leave it like that. And in order to mirror our work, you need to make sure that you you return your shark back to its original pose. So make sure all these controllers are set back to zero because if you leave the any of these controllers rotated, it's not going to mirror properly. So in order to mirror our work, we go to skin, edit smooth skin again, and then over here you're going to see mirror skin weights. Now you also have options for mirroring uh, make sure you select the mirror across axis according to how you have it set up here on your on your grid so that one's good and then make sure I set mine to positive so it's gonna mirror from positive to negative meaning positive is the right side negative is the left side so it's gonna go from right to left if you want it to go from left to right uncheck that all right and then let's go ahead and hit mirror and let's see what happens sometimes it doesn't mirror it properly but you're gonna need to tweak it yourself manually other times uh, especially on characters it works best on characters so you can see it tried its best but there's some vertices here that it didn't it didn't mirror over so again I'm gonna leave that like that and fix this manually here so go ahead say vertex or it might be that this this model is not actually mirrored over to the other side correctly so uh, I believe I have this reflection thing no okay now I don't and then assign them to the head joint because these vertices belong belong up to the head so go to window general editors component again load them smooth skin head joint put a one scroll down shift select put a one enter close and now check it out we're done with the mouth the mouth looks pretty good we can still tweak it some more but oh there you go you have some vertices coming down here so again go ahead and select those vertices add them to the head joint just like we did or you can paint them onto the head joint but other than this, that's all we're going to be doing. So go to that, uh, load it. Go to the head joint, add a one, and close it. And then there you go. It's all nicely fixed. Uh, make sure you, you might want to smooth this area down here on the jaw, right? And that's looking a lot better now. So you can come in here and, and test this out. Now again, we need to fix this because I don't want all that area to be moving, but you should get a, a better idea of how this uh, painting weights works now. So it's always a matter of blending between one joint and the next joint. So that's all we're going to be doing throughout the shark. So if you feel you got the hang of the, uh, the painting weights and adjusting their weights, just go ahead and stop here and, and try it yourself. The only way to get better on it is to, you know, keep practicing it yourself. So, uh, biggest recommendation though is gonna be uh, 
finding a good brush setting that works for you so if you're gonna add uh, I typically like to set my op my opacity up to one but my value like really really low like a point oh two or sometimes a point two will be okay and then very very slowly add to it so you can see here I'm I'm gradually adding you can probably do a a point O2 and then very very slowly you can see here how you start adding very very slowly values here but it always depends uh, what you're adding if you want to add very quickly some white to it uh, of course you want this value to be all the way up to one or you know just mess with those settings however you like so I'm on the jaw um, probably should be assigned to the head so again go to the head go to add and then start messing with the values here you know add some more white to that now you don't want to mess with the jaw because the jaw is already done and is working fairly okay so even though it's it's black you might be thinking well the jaw is part of the head I, I need to paint some white to it actually that's that's already done uh, you don't need to paint onto the jaw because the jaw has its own weights if you start painting on the jaw after it's already been fixed you're actually gonna be removing so if I start painting white here now you're taking away values from the jaw and adding them to the head which now you're mixing vertices so you don't want to do that just keep them separate so sort of like that so you can paint across if you want or you can trust your mirror tool you know that's that's up to you and let's go ahead and try this one out so it's looking a lot a little bit better it just depends how much flexibility you want obviously it's not going to give you a lot a lot of flexibility there's some limits to it but overall it should be fairly smooth so as your your shark is swimming you know should give you some good motion here so that's it's fairly good and then for the jaw as well well I'm hungry now you want to make sure nothing back here is moving so we'll continue this on the next lesson if you feel you got the hang of it go ahead and jump in the water man jump with the sharky <laughs> He'll sniff you out. I'll eat ya. Jump in, swim with me. Ha ha ha. Ah, nah. See you in the next lesson.